Okay, Bob, thank you. Ahead of the cold weather, veterinarians are reminding pet owners to take some extra precautions with their animals. One vet says it's a common misconception that animals are wearing fur coats because they don't retain heat as well as humans. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us with more on this information. Christopher? And good evening. Pet owners beware, especially if you have an outdoor pet. Tonight's freezing temperatures may be too much for them. If you yourself walk outside and feel cold and feel like you're going to need a jacket, then the animal or the pet is going to feel like that as well. Dr. Eileen Sarantel is an 18-year veterinarian at the Laurel Road Veterinary Clinic. She says animals are very susceptible to weather changes. With these sudden acute temperature changes that happen, it just makes it a little bit harder for them to adapt and accommodate to that. So if you have pets outside, bring them in tonight. You want to make sure that you can move them into a warm environment, even if it's not necessarily indoors, even into a garage or a back porch, something along those lines that provides some sort of shelter. It's not just dogs and cats to be concerned about. It's also turtles, tortoises, iguanas, birds, generally anything that has a hard time thermoregulating itself. Another thing that can't warm itself are plants. They should best be covered this evening. The key to making it work is to get it tight, and of course we're fighting the wind. You can't let the cold get up underneath there. You've got to get all your little air pockets out. Debbie Nave is the plant manager at MRT Lawn and Garden Center. She says most plants won't survive cold winds and possibly frost. Anything that's tropical, bougainvillea, hibiscus, um, anything that's going to bloom with an exception of maybe camellias and azaleas are going to get hit. Besides covering them, Nave suggests water your plants real good before the temperature drops, get them nicely hydrated, and get the water shut off. Now, for animals, as we said, they can get hypothermia. You'll notice that if your pet starts shaking violently or becomes extremely lethargic. Now, the best thing to do in that case is to wrap them up with warm blankets and let them warm up slowly rather than having an extreme change in temperatures. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Okay, thank you so much, Christopher. Some great information there.